The United Performing Arts Fund has raised millions of dollars, channeling that money into nonprofits like the Milwaukee Symphony, Florentine Opera, and the Milwaukee Children's Choir. Now for its 50th season, Katie Jokum from the United Performing Arts Fund, or UPATH as we call it, joins us now live to share more. 50 years. I know, it's pretty amazing. And you have a campaign. Yes, we do. It launches next year, March 1st, and it will run through June 14th. But we are aiming to raise another record amount. Um, each year we have progressively raised more money. In 1967, when we started, we raised five, six hundred and fifty thousand dollars, which was a lot of money. Which was a lot of money back then. And last year we raised over twelve million. Wow. And all told, in the past fifty years, we've raised over two hundred and ninety million dollars that have gone back into the community to help these performing arts groups um, stay vital and be able to do what we want them to do. What's so interesting are all the different plays that you guys have. Goosebumps is one of them. Yes, so excited. Just seeing those kids on stage and working with older actors too, you get this beautiful blend of children being able to learn from the professionals and really feel like they're um, experiencing something amazing. There's something that you're really looking forward to is the Harry Potter. Yes, so the MSO is going to be putting on a Harry Potter symphony um, going through the first movie and that's in December and I'm a huge nerd so that's excited for me. <laughs> Very interesting and also there's uh, Disney's Fantasia which yes. is so fun. So so they've been doing a great job of being able to bring in movies and capturing people's attention with things that they already know and doing the music to that. So, And what is the Royale? The Royale is something the rep is putting on. Uh, it's going to be a play based on a real life story about an African American boxer who is really trying to break through the color barriers and make a name for himself. And it was written by one of the people who wrote uh, Orange is the New Black. So. Oh, Exciting. very nice. That, that's really cool. I think there's another one that wrote Sons of Anarchy. Yep. That, is that the same Same one? thing, yeah. Same one. Well, yep. That's very interesting. Any one that you're looking forward to other than, you know, the Harry Potter oh, one, of course. The ballet always puts on beautiful productions. Michael Pink that. is a genius, and they are producing Scheherazade um, and Angels in the Architecture. So it's a two uh, kind of production uh, event. So the first one is Scheherazade, which is about like 101 Arabian Nights and kind of um, Middle Eastern. And then the second one is more like shaker oriented. So it's two completely different things, but for the price of one. And you guys make this so affordable for families and yes. for children to be able to learn outreach and you know, they keep cutting the arts in school, so it's so important to have you guys. Yeah, uh, arts education is our biggest thing that we are trying to help uh, retain in school, so. Right, well thank you so much. If you'd like more information on the Smart Card, oh, you wanna tell us about the Smart yes. Card? Yes, really so a Smart Card is one of our um, entry level things. If you donate $100, you get a Smart Card, which is buy one, get one tickets to each of our 15 member groups, and then also you get discounts to a bunch of area restaurants. So it's really a $650 deal for $100. And you can just head to tmj4.com, the links section. We have all that information for you. Katie, thank you so much for waking up with us. Thanks for having me. We'll be back with all your top stories after this break.